Yes guys, what is happening and welcome back to a brand new video. I told you, 2022, we're going to kick it off with some videos. So what way to get it started? The, the last couple of days of 2021, let's bang a video out. So my brother, which is there, this is like a hench version of me, like I'm a bag of bones. Um, so basically what he's got, he's got a Cooper 280, which is not a Cooper 280, it's probably about a Cooper 2. Cooper 350 to 380, I think. Obviously, um, we don't know too much about it. Well, he's only had it how many miles? A couple of thousand miles now. Um, service history is quite good on it, but as us car people, we want to know that stuff's been done ourselves. So, um, what he's done, he's ordering some oil, so that'll probably be another video in the future. But for the moment, he feels like it's gone a bit sluggish. So, the last couple of weeks, he feels like when he puts his foot down, it's a bit sluggish. So, first things first, and the cheapest thing to do, it's not showing any no, foot. Not the cheapest on these, I wouldn't say, for four plugs. Nah. See, I try. I did my four plugs, and it cost me forty-five quid. How much do you pay? One fifty. One fifty. Why? That's what they are. What? One fifty. Carl, if you're watching this, you was not lying. You did say they was expensive, and I was like, nah. So apparently, there's certain ones to get. I can't remember too much, but like, obviously, if I don't own a car, I'm not really gonna do any research into it. So I expect him to do his research. But apparently, if your car's mapped. You need better running spark plugs or something, was it? Like, um, some people have said you can run them on the standard ones, uh, yeah. the tuner said. But at their angle ground, which uh, something to do with the ceramic tip don't being, snap. In, being inside the uh, spark plug so it don't snap off in the engine, which some have done. So they're better ones, apparently. Yeah, so oh, I got told that as well. Someone was like, yo. You need ceramic tip or something. I don't know. Obviously, if you if you've got a Cooper and you're watching this and you can advise people, because obviously my brother's done a bit of research. Obviously, I ain't got a Scooby. I'm just here to help him fit his spark plugs. But they're NGK spark plugs, racing competition, angled ground strap. Um, if you can see it's picking me up, man. But yeah, no, we're not having it. No, but yeah, we're gonna fit them today. Um, we'll probably just take it around the block, just see if it feels any any feist here so uh, yeah let's get on with the video and before we go in here make sure you drop a sub and like the video um if we get more than 200 likes i'll drop the next video straight away so we're doing two videos today so uh, let's go First things first, you're gonna to wanna to open your bonnet. So let's pop her up. So there's a little tab under there. You pop it up. Are these aftermarket fingers? Will they yeah. the normal ones? No, they're... So normal ones won't have this? No, just your, uh, your bonnet strut, but they're gas struts. So we've got a Mountune air box as well. What do you think? You happy with it all? I think it could be louder. I wanna hear it about the air box on, because it muffles it at the sound a little bit, but it is a... Definitely good effort. Don't you need one of them as well? Yeah, you can get the ones that go under, but yeah. 40 quid or whatever, so for now. That'll do, yeah. Right then, so, so you just case pop off, yeah? Oh, yeah. Easy as that. So, this might look all scary to you, but it shouldn't be that bad. Literally, our spark plugs are here. So these are the core packs. So you've got one, two, three, four. As it's a four cylinder car, we have got four, so from the looks of it, it's just gonna be the case of just undo one, two, three, four. These look like pull tabs, so push in, pull out, push in, pull out. Then we've got like an eight or 10 mil um, each side. And then hopefully we should be able to just bang and pop her out. Boy, the only thing you don't like about these are what? These, these end up everywhere, every single time. And yet, I am, I am missing a few already. So uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, should be a cheeky time though. First I'm gonna dis longer. I was debating um, disconnecting the battery. Cause like, on my car and stuff, there's no like, it looks like an earth. So I was like, is it gonna like, obviously the engine had started, so we should be all right. I, I would have thought, obviously, if you think you should disconnect the battery first. And then, but, hey -ho. So 10 mil, span that. So it's like one holds it down. But so you want to put these somewhere safe, so up there. Put that up. 
so that one's out of the way and then we've got this one which I believe is a stud yeah so this one's a stud so it's like it's welded on kind of thing weird never saw this before so yep that's that one and then theoretically if I I'd see because it's on a the line they're not individual it's probably best to do all of them and then, yeah yeah because like if I pull that look it's, it's all connected to all these so yeah you're gonna do one at a time I guess So what we're going to do to make sure everything goes back sweet when we take them out we're going to like put them in order so we're not going to put like the first one out fourth one in so they're all going to when we take one out it's going to be bosh 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 so we're going to do right to left and then uh take the take the spark plugs out have a little look and then uh stick the new ones in and uh, hopefully right so i'm guessing it's literally pull on that so you push the clip down Bloody hell, that's hot. Ooh. So, I said it's gonna be hot, isn't it? Yeah. Next one. There we go. Out. Jeez, that's tight, that is. Blood, yeah. <coughs> he lets out a bit. A bit. <coughs> Suction, I know. No, it's clean as fuck, to be fair. Sound, is it? A video. Yeah. Never pull coils out like that like that was very very tight um someone in the, uh, another video said that they rip or something i'm sure he said the rip but Look, the yeah he said make sure like you warm the engine up or something so i am i'm fucked um yeah, that's one out so obviously gonna put that to one side and then uh work on the next one so Oof. They're so tight they are, honestly. Mm -hmm. Right, so a little tip here, um, cause obviously you could, this lot looks like from what I can see, there's three different sizes for the spark plug tool. So I'm literally just getting like that, that one fit. So these look a bit different in the car. So I'm hoping these are standard ones and these are rated ones. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get the thing in, try and crack it and see how we get on. So yeah. Bye bye. There we go. Nope, we'd hold it down there. Yeah. We got enough to clean it out with. Right then, so see like 
this is the same as my plug this is to be fair it's a uh, there's a little bit more of a gap on it than I think the standard one this these are OEM plugs I think I uh, don't know if anyone can see that VW Whoa, that's warm that is but yeah apparently if it's got like the creamy light on the top that means it's been working well so yeah uh, one done let's put the new one in sweet what we're gonna do yeah just to get it in we're just gonna push the plug in like that so it, so it's in and we're just gonna hand tight we're just gonna do it up by hand just so we know it's biting in the thread last thing you want to do is get the get the ratchet on it start cranking it up and then cross thread it because if you cross thread these pretty much like game over so Get it in, make sure it's biting nice and lovely. And then when it starts to now, it's like, oh yeah, it's getting tight. Just get the spanner on it. Nice and tight. There we go, lovely, pop that out. Job's a good one. Ask him say why the coil so tight to get out. See that touch, touch the spark plug, the spark plug and it'll focus on it. Right, so that's it's a lovely creamy colour. I don't know if it looks like it was gonna snap. Oh it's probably just a weld on it, isn't it? But yeah, yeah again. Lovely and creamy, so that's What's, working well. Can we read that one? Just yeah. about N N G W V W. Mm-hmm. So N G K there. Yeah. N G K, yeah, so. Right, so we've just put them in, like just push them in. It looks like there's a rubber lip that like goes over the actual engine if you can see. I'll try and lift it. Yeah. I think they must have been stuck in there for that long, they just didn't want to come out. So uh coils. They're not, they're not plugged in, but they're just on top. Um, I'm going to whack the studs in now, just to tighten her up. And then, uh, like I say, hand tight first, don't want to cross fit anything. Um, and then put the earths on. Yeah. Right, so we're going to push these back on now. Get, make sure they're all sitting on nice. Like so. Let's see. Then we're going to clip. Yep, so we've got wait till we hear the clip and then give it a little pull just so you know yep that one sound this one yep Heard that then this one yep sound and then get the little 10 mils and then uh screw them on top there we go there we go Can I do this? Oh yeah, just by looking at the key. Here we go. There we go, sweet. Need some fuel. Right guys, that is it for this video. Um, we would have gone out in the car, but he's literally got 15 miles of fuel, like, he's such a tight bugger, he puts like 20 quid in it at a time, gets it to like 15 miles and then, it needs fuel again but uh yeah that's how you fit spark plugs obviously if any of you have done this before and i did anything wrong comment down below because obviously on this channel if i do something wrong i'd like you to tell me and i'd like you to sh shed your information for the other users that are probably watching this thinking how do i do this so uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a sub down below a uh, comment as well because we all love comments on this channel and uh yeah see you on the next one let's uh i'm gonna charge the batteries and then we're gonna go for the second video so let's go